Let us continue our travels. Head down to Martinique. Get a land. And then uh, attack. We have so many soldiers that I would not expect them to sally out for a land battle. Nice to see a green outline around the troops like we saw uh, <laughs> playing the Amiga CD32 version of Pirate's Gold. Man, that was hideous. Let's go. Appreciate that we uh, were fighting in sight of the ships, or a ship out there, despite our uh, approach over land. I do enjoy the art style of this game. Very communicative. I also like the surrender mechanic as well, and the fact that the battle doesn't immediately end. We didn't get any gold from it. But, uh, we'll fill our larders. And, uh, off we go. Probably stop by, uh, St. Eustatius, we'll say. See about selling this stuff. French waters, merchantmen, French colors. No big deal. Might as well visit here and attack while I'm at it. How's it going? I didn't need to land to do this attack, but, uh, damn it, we did. Oh, they're pretty overwhelmed. That is a, that is a right and good outnumbering. Mm. Alright, back it up now. Who would I flip this to? Uh, we'll say the French. This, uh, is gonna make the Dutch a little sour at me, like, beating up the English. Uh, per my understanding of the game's mechanics. But on the other hand, eh, fuck them, right? You know, I guess I could give it to the Dutch. The Dutch wouldn't be too keen on me attacking the English, but, you know, perhaps they'd be keen on receiving a port. I couldn't say for sure. We'll say he's Dutch. That is the second port I've given to the Dutch. No governor? Eh, yeah, sure, we'll talk to the governor while we're here. We're allied with the English, we're at war with the French. You gave me my fucking position? And also you beat up some Spaniards, so you're now a major. Congratulations. Uh, here's another, uh... person who knows your father's whereabouts. It's unfortunate to have released all these people into the cosmos. But I guess if I'm wanting to go up around there anyway, and I can't find where my dad is, we can try Havana, though... That'd be a tough nut to attack. Maybe I could sneak in. Hello. People want to join me? 14 men? I'm not interested in information from there. And, uh... Unsurprisingly, you've got no money. I said I was gonna sell in, uh... St. Eustatius. We'll do just that. Was it the governor while we're here? Wanted to see if there was a job of any kind. 33 men, welcome aboard, Vera Cruz. One moment. Sometimes interruptions happen while you're broadcasting. <laughs> Recording. <laughs> you know, I, I muted the microphone following the pattern. Like, one moment. I'm like, alright, local recordings. I could just... Yeah, we can just... Move on with our lives. How about that? I do want to keep some food. I do have a number of mouths to feed. And uh, no guarantee I'm going to get into any profitable fighting that will scoop food up. 72 days? That'll probably be good enough. Let's go. Going to pass by San Juan. Do I have any information? On that? Tell me the story. 
prospering. Three forts, 200 soldiers, 10,000 gold. You know, maybe is the, uh, the time. I'm outnumbered. Maybe it's the time to see how land combat in Sid Meier's Pirates works. I'm intrigued. Let's go. Worst case, we can turn tail and run. Spanish waters, oh boy, penis. Pass. Spanish waters, another penis. Everyone important could be on those vessels, and I just couldn't give a fuck. Right? Okay. So, that's that button. This controls everyone together. Okay. We don't have a whole lot of terrain here to work with. Right? Let me put it like this. We got a lot of expanse and vista, but... It could be better. We'll put it like that. No swamp to, uh, to catch our foes in either. Just me out here on my own. Oh, surprise! Does this work the same? It does. The damage I'm dealing could be, uh, could be better. Didn't not taking much though. All right, land combat. I'm just gonna take my hands off the controls. Ah, welcome to the stream of consciousness here. It's like the the defenders are stopping uh, when they get within like shooting range of my hiding party, uh, but aren't getting first shot due to my dudes being hidden. I'm not certain why the AI is only advancing with one group instead of two. But I accept this. Minimal losses here. Could potentially be using more land battles to, you know, take better advantage of this situation against uh, numerically superior foes. But didn't know how this would play coming into this. Hmm. Might have to put my hands back on the controls. That's fair. We could do that. Getting shot more now. That's unfortunate. How's this group doing? Yeah, it's a bit better. There is that beefy stack laying into it. We whittle down like the weakened grip. That was a very cruddy amount of damage. Okay, I think it's time we tag out. Oh, okay. We only got an attack with the one that time. Thought we'd get an attack with both. Fine. I'm concerned about potentially retreating if I step too close to the edge of the map. I don't know at what point the game will consider that a retreat, you know? You want to trade? Okay. Looks like the AI's had enough of that exchange. 
Maybe they're waiting for morale to recover. I can't say. One way or the other. I'm learning here. Learning is scary, viewers. Hmm. Didn't expect to get shot. Oh well. Gotta get... Gotta learn some ranges here. The absence of music is notable. Takes care of that group. This other one is panicking right now. I might as well just continue to capitalize. Reduce losses seems like it does more damage. And walking into, like, enemy firing positions is just... irritating. Then we'll advance on the fort. Another advantage of doing these land battles is that I probably don't have to worry about uh, winged fortresses. <laughs> And uh, my uh, ship supposedly retreating. And of course, it does allow you to bring the full weight of your force, such as it is. Unlike naval battles, where you can only bring the one ship. I do dislike that game design. That's present in the original, that's present in Pirate's Gold, that's present in the Aughts remake. Well, you're not able to bring the full brunt of your force, like in a naval situation. Like, be rewarded for being several hundred deep and being able to travel in a group. Though I could uh, imagine how, like in a naval situation, if the ships are traveling further apart, you could end up being out of the range of support. Eh, I don't know. You could give me game balance and game design reasons all you'd like. Yeah. Other games come to mind that allow you to utilize your the all of your ships. Uh, the Uncharted Waters games. Is that close enough? It is not. I think I should just go in. Unless I'm, like, super trying to soften this place up. Actually pause to get the firing from both there. So I just won. Alright, I guess I'm using the rapier. I wasn't expecting the quick flip like that. I was pressing the buttons to have everyone move in union, union sim. Within unity, yes. All together. You can definitely tell the reduced damage here, but you can also tell the increased range. Once proud town of blah, 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 blah. once proud town of San Juan is at your mercy. Most of their gold's been hidden away. We got twenty two hundred gold pieces. Uh, we definitely got the food, and uh, might as well take some sugar along with us. All right, we're out of here. Some losses along the way, but uh, if we take a look at San Juan right now, they will have felt the wrath. Yeah, thirty soldiers. Now's the time to keep beating it up. Ah, I'm good. Though we could. We got other stuff to do. Like hopefully locating my father. 
And uh, potentially another Incan treasure. Excited by that. Ah, memories of this peninsula. A little protrusion from the land. Treasure map, alas, just, uh, if I'm correct about its location, is not within easy access. Though, doubtlessly, there's good value attached. English colors, huh? It makes sense you'd be traveling in Dutch waters, as the Dutch and English are allied. Uh, that's kind of not what I'm here for, though. I'm here to consume in the conflagration there. Just walking out of a wall of fire. Without giving a single fuck in this world. Not a lot of folks on this bark. Dude man here is, uh, in a bit of a pickle. Still in the fight? Not anymore. Nah, we don't need another ship. Take two tons of food. Off you go. We'll take the four sailors, though. Yep. Stay focused here. Stay hungry. Alright. Northeast of Santiago now. It's about north of Santiago. Swamp and mountain down there, but uh, not seeing the terrain formations here. There's Puerto Príncipe. Is that the island? Hold up. Looks like the island. Do, 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 do. Search, please. Your father is rescued. Mm. Years, uh, <laughs> the years, man. After years of searching, you are reunited at last. I have a mysterious and exciting tale to tell, your father exclaims as Griffith moves his microphone a smidge. Many years ago, the Spanish plundered the ancient Inca capital. While transporting the great riches of Spain, a treasure galleon foundered and sank. By luck and craft, I acquired part of a map of this incredible treasure and have held on to it. Wondering how I would exploit this knowledge one day. Huh. 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 Well? <laughs> Understood. I see. Well. Okie um, next time. You, you might think it's a little awkward, with the shoals, but... We'll, uh... It's a hundred thousand gold pieces. We'll figure out something.